All right, so in this video, I'm going to literally walk you through our entire Gold Eagle tech stack that we leverage to generate thousands of leads every single month for ourselves and for our clients. So the first thing I want to start off with is the data tools that we use. So we use this tool called Ocean.io. They are phenomenal and they are the best when it comes for building lookalike lists. When it comes to building lead lists, we love to build a list of companies or a list of accounts is what we call it and then go identify the proper decision makers at these accounts to go find the email addresses of the people that were emailing, right? So when it comes to account list building, Ocean is the best in its class. I could literally go in there and input a single website. And what it does is it'll go find thousands of companies that match the, the input that I put in, right? So if I put in leaper.io, the output's gonna be a ton of other B2B and B generation agencies. And this is super important because if I have a case study with a specific type of client that I can use and leverage to get more clients similar to them, ocean to where I go. I can go put in that client's website, go find thousands of clients or thousands of leads that are similar to them, go prospect, show the case study, win deals. So ocean has been super important to our success. The second place where we love to build account lists is actually Crunchbase. So Crunchbase is a database. They have a ton of great funding signals. So we can go find companies that have raised, you know, or their series A, B, C, whatever. It doesn't matter. And what I've noticed as well is that Crunchbase is the literal only database that I've used that has the best SaaS filter. So if we're trying to find and target SaaS companies, Crunchbase will have a filter for them. I can go, you know, download a list of accounts and go identify the proper people that need to reach out to. So I love Crunchbase for those two things specifically. And if I need to build a list of e-commerce you know, brands, Store Leads is my favorite because it categorizes the data better than any other platform I've seen. It will literally give you like super sub niches. So like I could click apparel and it's probably gonna show me something like sports apparel brands, for example. And the reason why this categorization is so important is that I can get super specific with my lead list, which is gonna allow me to write, you know, super specific copy on the sense of like, hey, I saw that you were a sports and apparel brand. Like that's really gonna to speak to the end user when they see the email because they're gonna think we did the research. And so that's why I like to use store leads when it comes to e-commerce data. And lastly, when it comes to building account list, I like to use Outscraper. So Outscraper allows me to scrape Google Maps really easy, really efficiently. You know, kind of ton of other tools, but Outscraper just makes it super simple to use. And so this is my favorite one to, to scrape local businesses, for example. So if I wanna find all the local bars in my area, Outscraper is what I used. It's super efficient and then all of everything I've spoken about, they're just going to give you website URLs. They may give you some contacts, but I don't really trust it that much, depending on the data source, but they're going to give you website URLs. Then what I do is take those website URLs and start to enrich them in other tools. So one of the tools I like to use is Apollo. Apollo, you know, everyone talks really bad about it, but to be completely honest, it's cheap, it's easy to use, and it has great coverage when it comes to data. So Apollo is one of the tools where we'll input a ton of these website URLs to go identify contacts, and we'll filter all those contacts to go find the right person, get their email addresses, and take them through the next steps of our process. So Apollo is a great tool that I like to use. Drop Contact is another tool that I like to enrich my data with. And so, you know, we do use Sales Navigator a lot, and once we scrape you know, the profile URLs off of Sales Navigator, I typically will always enrich it with Drop Contact. It has a great email enrichment percentage compared to other data vendors, and it's extremely cheap. So Drop Contact is definitely a tool I would check out if I were you. And when it comes to, you know, scraping LinkedIn Sales Navigator, the tool I like to leverage here is Golden Lead. So this is a fairly new tool that's out of the market. And what's really cool about them is that, you know, they don't take this typical SaaS model. So you're not paying for a monthly balance of credits. You actually are just paying for the searches and per every search that you input. And, you know, most LinkedIn sales nav scraper tools, they always leverage your profile. They'll, they'll need to, you know, use a Chrome extension, for example, but with golden leads, you simply just copy the sales nav URL and you input it into their form and outputs a CSV file of your search. And so it does it all in the cloud through their own profiles, super useful and super quick and efficient. And then there's some rare instances where we'll need to scrape data from like Instagram or TikTok. And this might be to build like a list of influencers or just find people that are interested in a certain keyword or function. That's typically 
you know, when we use like an Instagram scraper, but we like to use IG meets IO. It is a little slow. They have got a little quicker, but super cheap, super efficient. And, you know, honestly, I've seen a lot of Instagram data scrapers out in the market over the last couple of years. And this has been the one that has stuck around for the time period right now. So that's everything when it comes to lead scraping. So Apollo's where we do a lot of our website enrichment. It will filter down to find the, the right person. Drop contacts where we filter our LinkedIn sales nav searches. And then Google leads is how we scrape the LinkedIn sales nav. IG leads is how we scrape Instagram and TikTok. And so once we get all the emails, right? We now have to verify them. And the tool I like to use is Million Verifier. It is cheap, but you know, it's pretty quality verification. And the cool thing is, is that they only charge you for the valid emails that you get back. They don't charge you for the invalids, the catch-alls, the riskies, or anything of that sort when all the other providers do. So super great bang for the buck. And then what I like to do is take all my catch-alls that I didn't get charged for on Million Verifier and put that through Scrubby because Scrubby is the only system that can actually validate those catch-alls or riskies. And so it's the only platform that you can use to do that function. And it's very important to do that function because those are like untapped leads and nobody's really sending cool emails to. So that's kind of how we do the verification. And then when it comes to actual email warm up and the email sending, I'll kind of get into that. But we use smart lead. And I'm sure you've seen this tool around. It is fairly new, but they've been growing like crazy. And the cool thing about smart lead is, you know, they do unlimited warm up for a single price. So smart lead instantly, they've been change, kind of changing the game because back in the day, how everyone used to charge was based off of how many accounts you bring in. But what they're doing now is changing the entire ecosystem, the entire space by making it unlimited warm up, unlimited sending for a single price, right? They're basing you, they're charging you based on how many emails you send or how many credits that you leverage and use and how many leads you upload into their system. But you could add, you know, an infinite amount of email accounts to warm up and to send from. And, you know, what makes smart lead super great is that, you know, they do the rotation of the inboxes. They can do same sender matching. They do sub sequences. You know, they're, they're planning to build out a entire CRM within their platform. And they do so many things, you know, that are be fully on me reach where, you know, you can start to do LinkedIn, you can start to Twitter, WhatsApp outreach. Like they're going to build a machine and a very great development team behind them. And and this is what we personally use for sending on across all of our clients. And then when it comes to response handling, I like to kind of do a lot of our response handling outside of the actual email outreach tool for a lot of reasons that I'm not going to go into in this video. I did make a video about that called uh, Inbox Management, but we like to use Front. It's unlimited inboxes uh, that we can add in. So we have all of our clients' accounts inside of Front, and then that's where our inbox managers typically will be in so that they can convert a lot of the responses we get back to convert into leads. And then last but not least, our CRM, it's just HubSpot. It's easy to use as great integrations. We're not at the point where we need something like a Salesforce. We just need a simple pipeline that has simple functionalities. And that's basically everything that we use to generate thousands of leads every single month for ourselves and for our clients. So, you know, if you guys see all of this, this is, you know, a pretty wide variety of tech stack or, you know, a lot of different things that need to be leveraged and used, but it gets pretty pricey if you don't know, if you don't know how to leverage it correctly, I would just recommend working with our agency Leapbird. So, you know, go ahead and book a call with us. You know, we deliver leads on a paper lead model. Won't we'll have to, to get licenses for all this, these tech stack that we use. Simply pay us for every lead that we generate. So that's of interest, I would be excited to speak to you about how we can help leverage our cold email tech stack into your business.